Hello everybody, Dr. Mary Barson here with today's episode of Low Carb in the Leaves. Hello. Courage is an essential part of any lifestyle change. Yesterday I talked about accepting the things that you can't control. And as part of the beautiful serenity prayer, which I think brings comfort to millions and millions of people, and not just people who are on a sobriety journey, but to people who are on any kind of journey. It does take courage to change. It takes courage to take responsibility for that which is within your control. And there is a lot that is within your control. Our circle of control dictates what we say, what we do, where we go, what we eat, what we drink. Our circle of control does tend to sort of end there. And beyond that is just our circle of influence, where other people in our lives influence us and we influence them. We don't control other people in our lives, generally speaking. And they can't really control us, generally speaking. But it takes courage to take control. And this is especially true in the world of dieting and yo-yo, the diet culture, in the world of weight loss, the weight loss industry, if you like. Because if you've been caught up in yo-yo dieting and traditional weight loss advice of calories in, calories out, that is just eat less and move more. And if it's not working, then it's your fault. There's nothing wrong with my advice telling you to eat less and move more. If it's not working for you, then you're at fault, not me. See you later. It's not my fault you're a failure is often how traditional weight loss advice and traditionally how the diet industry has worked. As you know, Dr. Lucy and I abhor this idea and abhor the diet culture of toxicity. Weight loss is about healing the physiological, physical, metabolic causes of being overweight. Like I said yesterday, I way healthier than all of those medical students in, in our Ballarat student accommodation, and yet I was overweight and they weren't. It was my physiology that needed to be healed. Um, and about managing your mind so that you can stay on track with the things that are going to keep you well and manage your physiology. And if you do that with compassion and kindness, then you can make the changes you need. But it takes courage to take the plunge. And our community, our online community, is full of courageous people. Courageous people like you. People who are facing up to what they can control, feeling the fear of failure, feeling the fear that it might not work, and doing it anyway. So be courageous, beautiful people, and celebrate your courage. See you later.